Good afternoon, everybody. Tom and George from Twisted Networks. I want to take a minute and show you how I do takeoffs in field wire for low voltage. So we're a low voltage company. We use field wire for um, our project management, but it's also great when we're first starting out considering it, you know, if we're going to take a project or, or not um, to build a takeoff to get to get counts of our singles, duels, quads, triples, access points, cameras, that kind of thing. Maybe you guys do it differently. Maybe you have a way that you think is great. Maybe you can share that with me. I don't know. I've had to teach myself. So I'm a big guy about being efficient and not wasting time. So I tend to want to know how to do things as fast as I can and as accurately as I can. So I'm going to take a minute and walk you through how I do this specifically in field wire. So I start with my tasks. This is not how I structure my task once we are building the project out, but it's how I do it here in the beginning. So field wire only supports seven major task categories. So you can't screw with completed and verified. That leaves you five to play with. So I call them single, dual, quad, WAP, and camera. That's what the, this particular project needs because I need to be able to count how many quad runs I have, dual runs I have, that kind of thing. Then I come over here to my uh, task categories and I make a m matching set. DD for dual data, QD for quad data, and SD for single data, WA for WAP. Um, I, you'll notice I don't have one for camera because camera is a single data. So when I come to my plan and take a look at, at it, it's going to look something like this. So these are all singles. So single, single, single. And I can glance at the plan. I can tell by the task status and cut a little bit what's what. Green is cameras. I do WAPs in purple. Feel where I don't have a purple, so it's pink. Uh, red is uh, single and dual datas, orange is quad datas. So now that I've done this and I know my let edge and how do I put this to work in the field wire as quickly and efficiently as possible? Here's how I do it. So I, I have a brand new plan here. I need to make this thing. I start over here in a spot that's not used and I make a one data single. I don't even bother to label it yet. I just make it. One, this is going to be a dual data. It's going to be a, uh, it's going to be a dual. And I'll make me a quad. Uh, quad data here. And these are the five icons I'm going to use on this plan. And so it's uh, WAP. Category WAP. And in case you're curious, WAP and camera are both single data, but I like to keep my WAP separate just because it, it's just, for me, it's just good. If field where I had an eighth category, I'd have cameras separate too, but they just don't. And this is going to be one data. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. This is going to be camera, single data. Oh, camera, single data. Done. I got my five categories. I'll take my, my my first one. I'll drop it here on the plan. These are quads. So they have fours. Um, the, the way this plan is designed, that uh, open triangle and four, that's a quad. Great. Right click it, hit duplicate, hold the shift button, okay? Click, click, click. You see how fast this is? If you just hold shift, you can drop your tasks everywhere you want. And if you're done, on my last one, I let shift go and click, and now I'm back to my regular cursor. And I got a single over here. I'm going to just move that. Um, click. I'm going to move that over to right here. Boop. Now I I'm going to duplicate it, pan out, and start looking for places to drop singles. So I'll hold my shift key, single, 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 whole bunch of singles. And here's how I just kind of float through the plan um, as quick as I, I can. And I do the whole, whoop, that's a double, single, single. All right, and if you don't have anywhere to place that, press escape and it goes away. Um, you know what? <laughs> I showed you that, and then like a duh on me, watch this. All of these are wrong. <laughs> Those are actually supposed to be quads, moron. And I hit the, the icon for dual. So I'm going to put these here right, right, right where they're supposed to be. Oh, there's a double. Move back out of that. Get rid of these three I made by mistake. That's what I get for trying to talk and type at the same time. This is a quad. I'm going to move it. And in case you ha ha haven't learned it, uh, 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 the new field wire 
it does sometimes get a little bit jinky when you're trying to move stuff. But the new field field wire, uh, if you hit move and you select something, well, it doesn't it doesn't actually try to move it. It pops up it up. So so click your move icon and then hold shift and click it, and it treats it like a regular task. And so you, you can click that one, that one, that one, and move these three, delete these three, or you can select your icon and click and drag, and it grabs every, everything in that box. So if I have to mass delete something, it's very simple to do. Um, so undoing that mistake that I made a while ago was very simple. I just simply select all, press delete, and I pop back in here and drop in quads. So come across my plan, quad, quad, quad. These are all quads. And then I'll go through the whole plan. And the, the, the way I do it, I kind of go across in one color or one type. And, and while I'm doing that, my eyes are going to catch other stuff. Like there's a single, there's a WAP, there's a single, there's a WAP. The way my brain works for me, that's just convenient. Because then when I come back, I kind of remember seeing, oh, yeah, there was a WAP there. And there's a WAP over here. And I remember seeing one over here when I, I was doing quads. And so for me, that just works well. Your mileage may vary. Um, this is just my method. I'm not saying it's the best method. It's just the way that I've done it for a while. And it works really good for me. And I'm going to skip one or two. That's going to happen. Happens every time when I try and glance through it and get all the access points. I invariably don't. I'm like, dang it. I thought I had them all. Nope. But once you've got your, your icons placed, like now, I forgot that WAP. I just look over here, find me a WAP icon, duplicate it, and drop it there. And then I keep going. So, like, these are a bunch of singles here. I just grab the nearest single, duplicate it, click, click. Oh, those are duels. Oh, see, I missed a WAP. Click, duplicate, drop in that WAP. These are duels. I go find some duels. Duplicate. This is my method. I'm not saying it's the best method. I'm just saying it's mine. <laughs> there are many methods. This one is mine. Um, maybe you find it useful. Maybe you don't. But the reason I do this is because now I have to quote this job. I'm trying to see if this job is worth my time to quote. Well, based on what I know from what my guy said, there's probably a thousand drops in this project. So it's probably worth my time to quote. Let's go see how many there actually are. So when I do it this way, I can come back to my tasks and look because all I'm doing is takeoffs. Well, there's uh, 90 quads. That's 360 runs. 114 duels is 228, which, which is 588 runs. 104 singles. That's uh, 692 runs. Plus, yeah, so point is, I'm at 692 runs, and I'm only halfway through the third floor, and I got floors to go. So th this, to me, is a, a very efficient way to, 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 to quote. It helps me um, get, get, get my rough numbers, and then I can go in my quoting software that I use. I, I use D-Tools. And go, okay, well, I know I've got somewhere around 692 daily to run. So key in 692 times my cost. Boom, there I go. That's why I do it this this way. I like it. I, I think it's the best way to do it from what I've done in the past. If you know a better way, by all means, let me know. I'd love to hear it. Have a great day, y'all.